congratulations, you have already done the hard part of gaining a following on Instagram, and now all you need to do is make money from that following. I know making money on Instagram can be very confusing in the beginning, but at the end of this video you will know exactly how to monetize your following in a way that helps you and your followers. The first way to monetize your Instagram is by selling e-products. This is probably my favorite way of monetizing on Instagram because it's basically passive income. You do the work up front to create your ebook or course or whatever other e-product you're selling and then you just gain passive income from that. You can sell it over and over again without having to do any more work. The first e-product that I'm going to talk about is Lightroom presets. This is a great option if you are a photographer because it has to do with photos. If you are not familiar with Lightroom presets, they are a type of photo filter that you can create and save and sell in Adobe Lightroom. Once you've made these, you never have to make them again and you can just take the file, put it online and sell it. Once somebody buys your preset, they can download it and edit their photos in one click. This is a great option for photographers because if you're a photographer, there's a face to your work and people want to support that face, so they will buy your photo filters. If you are a theme page, I would not recommend selling Lightroom presets because there's no face that people want to support. So it's just random photo filters that they could probably get for free on Visco. For example, I tried selling these on my theme page, which has around 60,000 followers. And I only sold one for like 10 bucks after like a couple weeks of work. So if you're a theme page, I would not recommend it. However, if you are a theme page, do not worry. There are a bunch of e-products that can do really well on theme pages such as an ebook. When you make an ebook or course of some kind, all you have to do is put in that upfront work and then once you're done, you can just sell that course or ebook over and over again. Ebooks and courses work best on pages that are centered around business and finance because those you can charge more for your ebook or your course and they sell a lot better. However, do not worry, you can still sell courses in pretty much any type of niche but you won't make as much as if you had a business and finance niche. Anything related to business such as real estate or dropshipping is automatically going to do really well on Instagram. However, if you are a travel page, I recommend you sell an ebook over a course because you can write a book that tells people how you travel the world for free just using your phone or how to start a podcast with only 100 followers, something like that. Courses are a great option if you're a photographer because you could sell a course like how to quit your nine to five to do freelance photography full time. And again, once you create that course, it's pretty much just passive income. Just make sure when you're selling a course or an ebook that you're pricing it fairly related to the value that it actually brings the user. If you charge $200 for a course and then people buy it and there's barely any information in it, they're gonna be mad. A good way to price your ebook or your course is looking at competitors' pages and seeing what they're selling their courses for. Another good e-product for photographers is digital prints. These are better than physical prints because you don't even have to deal with inventory or anything like that. Someone can just purchase a digital print from your website and then you can send them that link and they can print it out themselves. However, when you do this, you probably will not make as much money as selling physical prints because it requires work on the buyer's end. The last e-product that I'm going to talk about in this video are NFTs. NFTs are fairly new, but they are a great way for artists or creators to make money. A good example of NFT usage is the Instagram photographer Jacob. He has created around three NFTs and each of them have sold for around $40,000 or a couple ETH. Before this, I'm sure he was making decent money because he's one of the top photographers on Instagram, but this has literally probably changed the game for him. I mean, he's making $40,000 every like one or two weeks whenever he comes out with a new NFT. That is big money for just posting something on Instagram. The NFT space is in a huge bubble right now, so if you wanna take advantage of those inflated prices, I recommend you learn how to create one right away. They are a little bit hard to create, but anybody can create them. You just have to learn how to do it and connect that image to the Ethereum blockchain, which sounds a lot harder than it actually is. Once you've created your NFT, you can post it on a marketplace such as Rarible or OpenSea, and that way people can view that. And you can also market it to your followers because they will probably pay the most for your work. One last thing about NFTs is that you have to have a good reputation. If nobody knows you as an artist, they probably won't pay that much for your NFT. But for example, somebody like Jacob, who's one of the top photographers on Instagram, everybody knows him and his work is valuable so people are willing to pay forty thousand dollars for to own one of his images the next way that you can make money on instagram is selling your own physical products this is the path that a lot of artists take and it can be very profitable if you are an artist consider selling your work to your followers this can be paintings sculptures really whatever you want 
Instagram has just come out with the shopping feature, so that can be huge for your business. Now is really the perfect time to jump on and use the Instagram store because there's not that much competition right now. Brands haven't fully taken advantage of it yet, so you will not have as much competition when you're fighting for that space on the front page. You will also want to create your own website and use a clean URL. This is most likely going to be a .com URL. I would definitely recommend you use .com over .org or .shop because it looks more professional. Some good platforms to sell your stuff on is Shopify, Squarespace, and WooCommerce. I'm not sponsored by any of them, so that's just my honest opinion. And if you are having trouble selling stuff on your store, maybe hire somebody to like look at your store and maybe update a few things get it so it has a higher conversion rate. If you don't wanna pay anybody, you could also just look at your competitor stores and see what they're doing. You also might wanna consider trying to do influencer or Facebook ads. Using these ads can drive a lot of traffic to your site and could potentially make you a bunch of money. If you are an artist making something that can be personalized, then try to get your audience to personalize it. For example, if you're making jewelry, maybe do a competition where your followers can submit designs and the winner is the next jewelry piece that you make. Doing this can form a stronger connection between you and your audience, and that strong connection is more likely to make them buy it. Some of the cons when it comes to physical products are that you are limited to what you can do. You could hire a team that could up your production level, but most of the time you are limited to what you can physically create in a certain amount of time. Another con of selling physical products is that you have to deal with inventory. If you don't sell out of a product, then you're stuck with the rest of that product that you have no use for. This is not that big of a con, and overall, selling your products is a great option for you. If you are not an artist, so say you're like a theme page or something along those lines, you can still sell physical products. My favorite way to do this is through dropshipping. Dropshipping is essentially where you design a store around a product, then you market that product to your followers, when one of your followers buys that product, then you buy the product from the manufacturer and ship it directly to the person who already bought your product. This way you never come in contact with the product and you just collect the profit. The beauty of this business model is that there's really no risk because you're only buying the inventory when somebody has already bought it from you. So it's very hard to lose money in this business. This is one of my favorite ways to make money on Instagram because you can do this from anywhere in the world and you don't have to deal with inventory. The key to dropshipping is finding a good product and then designing a really good store around that product. One way to find a good product to sell is look at similar pages to yours and see what they're selling, see what people are advertising on their page. This way you'll get a good idea of what is already working. You can also just search through AliExpress or Sprocket or any other manufacturer and you can get some good ideas just by looking through. One con of dropshipping is that you're ordering products from China, so the shipping times are usually very long. I mean like one to two months. This can be fixed, however, if you go with a US manufacturer. A lot of sellers on AliExpress actually have US warehouses, and you can sort out the Chinese warehouses and only see the US warehouses. Another con of dropshipping is that because the products are like come from China and are very cheap, usually they're not the highest quality. So if you are confident about a product, make sure to order it and try it out for yourself before you sell it. And having that product in your possession can also be very helpful when you're creating your own advertisements because you can do your own camera work and create your own ads that are very high quality. The biggest pro of dropshipping is that it is very scalable. So for example, if you're selling on Facebook and using Facebook ads, that you can just pump more money into the ad sets that are working and just scale it to the moon. So if you're making $1.50 for every dollar you spend, then you can just spend a million dollars and make half a million dollars in profit which is ridiculous. Now, don't get me wrong, dropshipping is fantastic, but it is not as easy as it sounds. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of struggle of finding the right products, building the right store, creating the right advertisements. You really have to get everything right for your dropshipping store to really take off. The last type of physical product that I'm going to go over is print on demand. So sites like Teespring where you can create your own merchandise and then market that to your followers. This is great because you do not have to deal with inventory you do not have to deal with like manufacturing companies like red like redbubble or teespring take care of all of that and all you have to do is put that little link in your bio and anybody who checks it out has the potential to buy one so once you design a shirt it's pretty much just passive income however this will definitely not make you as much money as the first two options let's say you don't want to sell your own stuff Another way to make money on Instagram is selling shoutouts. Brands and theme pages will reach out to you on Instagram and slide in your DMs and ask you if you do sponsorships or shoutouts. This is great because it requires very little work on your part. All you have to do is really post a picture or a video, maybe post a story with a link in bio. However, there are some things that you should watch out for while doing this. 
One of them is make sure you're not promoting scams. The scam that you promote will be reflected back onto your personal image and that can really like dampen your brand. Other brands that don't wanna be associated with scams will not advertise on your page and you could potentially be giving up a lot of revenue over the long run for just making a quick buck today. So make sure to not promote any scams and only promote stuff that you actually believe in. At most, you should only sell one shout out per week. I know you've probably followed like meme pages or other theme pages that started posting a bunch of ads and nobody wants to see that. Pages that post a bunch of ads will lose engagement and lose followers over time. If you have a theme page, you should charge about 0.1% of your follower amount per shout out. This definitely depends on your niche. If you're in like the finance and business niche, then this can be completely different but I'm sticking with my travel niche or like a clothing niche, any niche like that, you're probably gonna pay around 0.1%. So if you have 10,000 followers, you're probably gonna get paid around $10 per ad post. If you have 100,000 followers, then you're gonna get paid around $100 per ad post. If you have a million followers, then you're gonna get paid around $1,000 per ad post. And again, this can definitely vary by niche. This 0.1% does not apply if you are a personal page or have a personal brand. You can charge a lot more if you have a personal brand than 0.1% per follower. One thing to remember is that these brands are paying you because they know they can make more money than they spend by promoting their product on your page. Personally, I do not like this method because I would rather be the one making the extra profit just by selling my own products. All right, the last way to make income on Instagram is through affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is essentially where you sell somebody else's product and then you get paid a percentage of the sale price. This is especially profitable in tech niches. For example, if I sold a MacBook for $2,000 and I got 20% of that sale price, I'd be making $200 per MacBook sold. Now imagine hundreds of people buying MacBooks through my page every month. That can really add up. A person who has really taken advantage of the affiliate marketing business is at the Amazon Badger on Instagram. This guy basically goes through Instagram and finds some really cool products and then posts them on his page. He has around 130,000 people who look at his page for these products, and anytime somebody goes and buys one, he gets paid through the Amazon affiliate program. An example of affiliate marketing in the travel niche would be somebody selling like a trip. For example, I'm an Italy page, so I could sell a trip to like Rome for like $2,000 through a third party, because I don't want to deal with you know taking somebody to Rome, and I would get paid like 20% of that sale price, so $2,000, that's $200 towards me whenever I sell that product. When doing this, just make sure you are selling a good product that will benefit your community. A popular affiliate website is called ClickBank, and that has a lot of options for each of the niches, but you can also just search up your niche and then affiliate. The first things that come up on Google will usually be the best affiliate programs for that niche. That is it for my ways to make money on Instagram. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it brought you some value. This is certainly not all the ways to make money, but these are my favorite ways. If you wanna see more from my channel, make sure to subscribe. Thank you all and have a great day.